Well, with me now is fellow Chindit, Robbie Robertson, who was an RAF wireless operator. Lovely to see you here today. Thank you. Your job, you had an extraordinary job, didn't you? You had to march into Burma, yes. 200 miles, yes. with the Chindits. Yes. You were crucial, though, because you were the operator, the RAF operator. You had to communicate with the planes, bringing in the supplies. That's correct, yeah. We had to pass all the messages with the details of all the supplies we needed back to the real headquarters in us in us farm. Because you were all utterly dependent on the supplies that's coming why, in yeah, from that's the That's why air. everything, absolutely, ammunition, weapons, food mainly. <laughs> what was the march like going into the jungle? Oh, the march, I shall never forget. Um, it's all the, the pack on your back all the time, about 60 to 70 pounds all the time. And, you, um, and all I remember is I was always walking behind the behind <laughs> of a mule. Of a mule. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny the things you remember, isn't That's it? That's right, yes, yeah. But the conditions must have been so hot, so, I mean, things, something you'd never experienced before. Yes, uh, well, the first day was was actually quite a lesson. It was to get up about 2,000 feet up on the hillside, and we found out for the first time that the mules would not carry loads up hills. <laughs> so what was scheduled to be just a two- or three-hour job was a two-day because we had to carry all the loads up when we sent the mules up to happily carry on. And, and, and getting the food in, and because you were carrying five days' worth of supplies, and if your planes didn't come in, oh, your yes. men didn't have anything to eat. Yes. So how did you get them to, how did you tell them where to come? Well, the, there was an RAF officer with a column as well, and it was his job to uh, tell the CEO where was the best place and then I had to pass on the coordinates, the times and schedule and what we wanted. Um, uh, also we had to uh, do all the signals for air support like light aircraft mm. to evacuate somebody or do something um, or even just bombing strikes. Um, and we thought we had to do all that. Well, Rob, it's very lovely to see you here today, and uh, we will let you go and get ready for the event. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Well, the Burma campaign lasted more than three and a half years, the longest fought by the British Army during World War II. The picture inside Burma, a British colony, was complicated. Some Burmese hoped Japan would make the country independent. Others wanted to help Britain and its allies, like Katie Luin, who was 17 years old when the Japanese invaded. My name